there are many, many clients that we see on a daily basis that are teens. About, um, I want to say about 36%, a lot of these women um, just want to feel loved. That's probably the majority of the things we see. And again, a lot of them just have the mindset that it's not really going to happen to them. And I think we have a long way to go in the prevention of that. At CareNet, we offer several services. We offer um, a laboratory-grade pregnancy test. We offer ultrasounds. We have options counseling. And we also offer like, things like um, parenting classes and things like that. And we also offer post-abortive counseling for people who have had an abortion. When a woman comes in, and whether, even if the test is negative, we're able to talk with her about how she can prevent having to come and see us for a second time, hopefully. And also, if it's positive, we're not just saying we believe in the sanctity of life and sending her away. We are, we are bringing her valuable resources um, to help her through this time because if she's already pregnant, then she's going to need a lot of help. So not only are we giving her material resources, things she can earn for like diapers, clothes, wipes, all of those things materially, but we're also equipping her with some amazing classes such as parenting classes, breastfeeding classes, how to even have proper nutrition and not smoke during your pregnancy. And we have videos like that for fathers as well. So I feel like we're playing a huge role. CareNet has offered their free services in Owensboro since 2005 when they opened. In addition to the services offered in the office, they also have programs in the local middle and high school health classes. The middle school program focuses on how to have healthy relationships. The high school programs are geared toward learning why CareNet believes sex was meant to be for one man and one woman for life in the context of marriage. They also go over various birth control methods and STDs, but they stress the freedom teens have when they abstain. Most teens don't realize the effects teen pregnancy has on individuals and their families. Katherine Dowdy, an employee at CareNet, explains some of the effects she has seen teen pregnancy have and how she believes the problem can be alleviated. Teen pregnancy has a huge effect. Just many, many things um, are affected in, in the individual's and the family's life. For example, grandparents often are having to step into the parent role. And of course, we're also seeing teens just have a hard time completing the goals that most teens have for themselves, such as completing school or going on to higher education. Well, it's probably going to sound very simple, but I would say um, the, biggest, the biggest thing is for people to not have sex outside of marriage, not have sex when they're teens. And um, some people think, may think that that's um, unrealistic or like an old-fashioned idea, but I would really challenge that thinking and one of the things that I love to tell the students when I'm in their classes is, um, in 2016, we have more birth control methods than ever before. And we have more STDs than ever before and just as many unplanned pregnancies. So the only way that I can guarantee these young men and young ladies that they're not going to get an STD, they're not gonna get pregnant, is if they abstain. So it really is the biggest factor, I, I believe, is just getting the message out there that sometimes good things come to those who wait, and sex and babies are a beautiful thing, but there is a proper time and place for those things. And that's when it's the most easiest and without all the baggage and all the drama. If you or someone you know needs more information on unplanned pregnancy, STDs, or parenting help, please contact CareNet.